Hey everyone, this is Dave from uh, wetflyswing.com and today I'm going to show you how to do a McLeod Ugly. This is an ugly fly. Okay, let's, uh, let's get into it here. We're going to be using a Dairiki size 8, number 8.99. And, um, you know, this is a, a, a small hook here. You can tie these on much bigger hooks if you want. Um, but I'm going to tie it on this because this is the type of hook that I really like to fish, at least for um, when we're talking about summer steelhead. And I'm also tying this in kind of a unique place, which is, um, I'm kind of traveling here, so I'm going to see if, how this works. It's not the, uh, the most comfortable place, but I'm going to give it a go here. So we start back here. Um, and uh, we're just going to use, start back and get some red um, just past the point here. And we're going to use a little bit of red um, hackle. What you want to do on this hackle is use the, um, you want to use the fluffier parts of the hackle. So down here, and that we're going to take off a bunch of this really fluffy stuff about right in here. I'm just going to rip some of this off just like that. That's a pretty sparse uh, tail, so I'm going to get a little bit more here. Take it off from here. So this is a good one right here. Now you don't want to, we're tying on an 8, so we're tying on a smaller fly, but we still want to make sure to get a nice, nice juicy tail. So we'll tie that on, just like that. And then, kind of just cover this up. Um, this fly is going to have a grizzly hackle. And this one, we want to get a hackle here that's not too webby, not too stiff. So I'm going to grab one right in here. These are actually a little webby, so I'm going to probably only do like three, three spins of this stuff. So I'm going to take it from right here, cut that off, tie that in right there. And um, if you haven't noticed, we've been doing a lot of these classic uh, steelhead flies. Um, and uh, it's part of, right now, part of the challenge doing this uh, 30 day fly tying challenge so if you go to um, if you go to Instagram and you type in hashtag uh, fly tying challenge 30 you will see um, you'll see a bunch of the photos from people that are tying um, it's pretty fun we're just basically I, if you want to get on the list you can go to um, fly tying mentor on Instagram um, and take a look. There's a link there you can sign in. I just basically send a new tip and it's kind of an accountability partner thing just to keep you tying a, a new fly every day. Um, doesn't have to be new, but just a fly every day. So we're going to get this tied in now. You can see we're just using black chenille. Um, if it slips on you like that, you just go like that. And again, this is on a small, you know, pretty small hook, so if you were tying this on a bigger fly that was going to be weighted and stuff, um, you'd be, you'd, the, whole pot, the body would be a little bit bigger, but I'm just going to pick up some of this stuff. And then, now I'm ready to wrap this. I'm just going to, like I said, I'm going to probably try to get three wraps. So there's one. You see that? Yeah, there's two. Not too far apart. Don't want, don't want it to look weird. So there's three. See that? And that that's a good full, a good full fly. And, uh, what I'm gonna do here to decrease some of that fullness, if that's a word, I'm going to get ready to tie my black in. But I'm just gonna trim this up a little bit, just on top. You can actually do this on the bottom too if you want. I'm going to leave it for the most part on the bottom, just a regular hackle, because I like the way that flows. And then we just get a black calf tail. 
get a little bunch of that. Um, you don't need too much of this. Flick out the the little the fine ones. I like to do it like this and until I get the right size. And then set that on top. And I like to go back back near the tail back here. I'm not going to do any crystal flash on this one. Um, do a loose wrap first. One. There's that, and then I'm going to cut this off close. Get a little bit close here, but I'll go ahead and come back. Come back, just finish up your head, make it neat, and do the whip finish. That is the McLeod Ugly. Not perfect, but. Take a look at it real quick here. Trim it up a little bit. But that's actually a pretty good looking fly. And if you hold it down to see what it looks like in the water, you can do one of these things. I like doing this to see when it's all wet, what it's gonna look like. And you can, basically like that, you can see that fly, it's got that nice little hot spot. That's a, that's a pretty, it's a pretty one. Dark, dark with a red hot spot. Okay. So that's the McLeod Ugly. Um, thanks for sticking around. And uh, go to wetflyswing.com take a look at uh, some other patterns we have there. And please subscribe if you enjoyed it. And we'll see you soon.